Have you ever wondered on how to make a piece of wood look like leather? Well, if you stick around in this video, I'll show you how. The first thing we need to do is find a pattern that's going to look similar to leather. So if we go onto the internet and we find a pattern that we really like, I've already found one. So I'm going to use the one that I've already got that I used on a previous project. And you want to try and make sure that this pattern has a lot of different shapes to it, different angles, and making sure that there's also different sizes ranging throughout your pattern. Once you've got your pattern sorted, I'm going to be doing a simple logo in the middle because this for my customer, he wants this to showcase this actual brand that we're going to be applying this plaque to. So now that we've got my logo there set out, we just need to apply it to the middle of our artwork create a little stroke around it to make sure that the pattern that we're engraving isn't going to be leaching over to our logo. Once we've done that, we can now save it all as one color, black, take it through our vectorizing program and change it into a DXF. And we want to make sure that we also have a border with rounded corners because that's what he specified. And if we have that, we'll be able to also choose to change it to cut in the program. Once we've saved it as a DXF and we've moved it into our TrueCut software, it doesn't matter which software we'll be using, all of them are pretty much the same. We need to now select our layers. So to start with, I'm going to be selecting the outer border and changing that to purple because we're going to be cutting that outer border. The rest we're going to leave black and make sure that we're going to engrave it. Now for the engraving, I'm going to be choosing a speed of 500 and a power of 65 because I want to make sure that I can get this done quickly and have the best depth engraving on my piece of wood as I can. Remember we want to try and create a very good color contrast when we varnish this later in order to make it look like actual leather. So now that the artwork's done on our TrueCut software, we can head on over to our laser and continue the rest. So let's do it. Now that we had our laser, the first thing we need to do is pick a piece of wood that we're going to be using to engrave on. I'm going to be using the natural MDF, the cheapest as they come, because remember at the end of the day we're going to be varnishing this, so if you choose a darker color wood, it's not going to give the same effect. Once it's now engraved and cuts itself out, we can remove it from the machine and we're going to need to now varnish and clean up our piece of wood. And this is where the important step of your varnishing comes in. You have to make sure that you've got quite a dark varnish, otherwise this process might not work for you. So I've got my varnish to make it look like almost black inside my container and this is going to work well for me. Now that the varnish is ready and we've cleaned up our piece of wood with a cloth and some water, we can now go ahead and start varnishing our piece of wood. Now you want to try and put as much varnish as you can and kind of splotch it around giving it different swirls, tap at it, you mustn't keep to one direction, you want to try and make this look as natural as possible without having too much uniform to it. It needs to look like it's been abused and if we tap 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 all our varnish around the sides and making sure that the logo has a little bit more varnish you'll see that if you do one layer at a time you'll eventually build a leather look alike but out of wood and look at that now that it's done and the varnish is dry it looks absolutely beautiful it almost looks identically to a piece of leather at different angles Now that I've shown you the principles behind how to make a leather look alike, all you need to do is play around with your different patterns and possibly change the color of your varnish and you can come out with a different color completely. 
All right, have fun. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. am.co.za. Achievement matters.